happen just like that. In the middle of Thanksgiving performance, I looked around and realized these kids do not respect me properly. I had to do something to change my class, to change my social standing. Why couldn't I be like him? Everyone liked him. It was just easy for him. Why? I've been going about it all wrong. I did my research. I watched what everyone else was doing. I took notes. I made lists. And I figured it out. I needed to get people's attention. I needed better marketing. Maybe a gimmick. I've been working on it for weeks when it came to me. I needed a toy. The coolest toy that anyone ever had. It had to be right. Then they would all respect me, worship me even. I saved my allowance, wrapped up my gold stars, did extra credit, and then I got it. And it was the greatest toy ever invented. This was going to change everything. I knew exactly how it would work. I got to school carrying the item that would change my life. And kids would flock to me, ignoring Billy completely. I get invitations to birthday parties, be voted class president, graduate the top of my class, get into Harvard, study law, become a senator, and change the world one ruling at a time. This ball was going to help me make history. He'll get on the bus and know it's my turn. There'll be no denying it. I couldn't wait for him to finally get there. But where was he? He was never late. Maybe this was better. He wouldn't even find out till the following day. My plan was working. Wait, what? Is this a joke? What the f- He done it. The one thing I couldn't plan for, he made my ball worthless. He was smarter than I gave him credit for. And he had to be stopped. He couldn't be allowed to go on doing this to me. I was gonna have to retaliate immediately. I tried everything. I tried negotiating with him. Tried making the ball less geographically desirable. I tried the standard diversion tactics. Complete with standard cement turtle. Like I was having a blast. I was not having a blast. I tried disgusting it maturely. That was nice. I like it. But he was tough. There is no way he should be allowed to have a ball that big. No one should be allowed to have a ball that big. And then I just figured, what the heck? And I joined forces with him. He even became friends, best friends. Yeah, I would never ever believe it either. We were actually having fun together doing real things that friends do together, like real people. He started to trust me, even letting me play with the ball. I was on the inside, finally. I was legit. And when you're legit, people leave you alone with their stuff. And when you're alone, you can really focus. And when you really focus, you could come up with amazing ways to make the world a better place. All you need is a story. Maybe it hit a rock, a sharp rock. Maybe it was playing earlier and kicked it too hard. Maybe his dog bit it, but you always feel terrible. At least you act like you feel terrible. It doesn't actually have to be real. It's not like he deserved to have a ball that big. It's not like that was fair. He knew he couldn't treat people like that. That was making people feel bad about themselves. That's just the way the world works. You can't change it. You just have to accept it. Sure, there are casualties along the way. And also, there is a real sense of accomplishment. Now I could grow up and work for Carl Rove in peace. Thank you.